Hi. How'd you do? Uh, All right. right. Share, Rinthia. Uh, oh, by the way, before you go, Rinthia, I, I put a um. Did you see my? Did you see the 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 piece I did on your project? Um. On the Hawkins project. Yeah. With the navigation bar. Yeah. Yeah, I I actually wanted the one to the top, and I I could I wanted to put it to home, just to type in my navigation bar. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you'd seen it because it was very. Yeah, I did. Okay, I added it to the um to the fiddler. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. I just want to make sure you'd seen it. So thank okay. you. Yeah, you can stop your share. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Um. So now we've got they, so um on your on your tags you want to set the string constant to date. Right. Yeah. And then you have to retype date. It's date, not constant. No, no, no. Set the string constant date. Yeah. Set the string constant location. Set okay. the field title to string from column date. Good. Okay. Yeah. So let's do the import. Let's see what we get. And cool. you've got, what's this one? Tags, the string constant date. Um, where'd your... This is the original one. Yeah. Okay. I'm just wondering why we didn't... Okay. Yeah, I just love that one as it is. Yep. All exactly. right, so yep. I'll try to import it. Let me. Uh... Yeah, you want to you want to do the refresh. One more time, Steve. Well, that was. You might bring out the import tool since you use it so often. <laughs> Or not, that's all right. How do I do that? Bring out the import tool. Click the little box to the left of it. Okay, there's an issue. There's a title yeah. field for it. Location, because you've got some things that are missing locations or date. 28 of them are missing location and 31 of them are oh, missing. Right. Yeah, that's fine. All right, that's fine. Yep, okay, and so click on uh, 1761. Oh yeah, I oh. got to import them first, yeah. of course. I don't know why your import comes that way. Okay. Yeah, just click on one of the dates. And it's tag date. Good. Okay. That's what you'd expect. Oh, don't delete it. <laughs> Oops. Okay. That's what you'd want. Yep. Yeah. So let's make a template for date. So create a new tiddler. Okay. And let's call it a date template. And when you're creating a template, you want to tag it to dollar sign colon. Dollar sign colon slash tags slash view template. Capital V, capital T, view template. And usually we just copy these from somewhere else. Okay. And then your template starts with a list. So you want to go down in the text? No, 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 and not in the yeah, down in the text box. Yeah, it starts with a dollar sign, dollar sign list inside of angle brackets. Always inside of angle brackets. Yeah, and it's filter equals. Well, and I usually just have people copy these, but it's filter equals quote square bracket. Um, and you ask the question sort of is. No, nope, one square bracket is. And then another square, open square bracket is current. Yep. Nope, nope, this one is. Is current, yep. And then close the bracket. Okay, so now we're saying is current, and then we, what do we want to do? We want to go tag date. Space or? Um, no, no, so whenever you're going to re reference a field name or something, it's always going to be in a bracket. So it's going to be in square brackets in this case. No space. 
no spaces and not spaces are different in shelters. Okay. So it's current is current tag date. Okay. So close it with a square bracket and a quote and an angle bracket. And now what do you want to do on 1761? Let's go back to your location. Your tiddler right location right under there. Yep, edit that. Grab the second list field, the second list from from there all the way down. Right here. Yep. You got an extra closed list, but we'll get rid of that. And um, paste it. So, yep, okay, so it's not, so let's see, we want a list filter, actually what do we, we want a list filter, tag composition, and no, no, that's right. And then instead of location, we want date. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, yeah, this is, I'm, um, yeah, that's right, yeah, lowercase date, I think, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, and then the, it's not, instead of the current location, it's actually the current, um, this filter, tag composition, date, it's current title. Current title, okay, got it. Yeah, so 1761. Okay, and then we I'm make, putting title or I'm putting yeah, yeah, something on. I'm just thinking. Yeah. Okay. So let's look at that. Oh, you know, at the very bottom, um, um, in front of inside the list. Sorry. So just open a line above the last list, and let's put um, let's put an HR so we get a return uh, uh, a vertical bar. You know, in brackets. Yeah. And then in the little carrots above the six, that makes it small text, super, super script. Wait, uh, what did you say? I'm sorry. The little two carrots above the six. Those are angle brackets. The carrots, the one are the shift of the six. Oh. Yep. And then um, um, in square brackets, put a link to this tiddler, so date template inside of square brackets. Uh, two double square brackets, and it's a capital D because that's how you wrote it. And close it with double squares and close the two carrots. Two more carrots. Okay, so let's save that. Um, and let's look at 1760. Yeah, you might want to edit that and get rid of that L tag. <laughs> Yep. And let's look, you can, let's look at 1761 or something. Search for 1761 or some other random date. Great. Awesome. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Yeah. Not quite though. We've got a mistake in your template. So let's edit the template. Not the tiddler, the template which is going to be most recent on your top of your recent list. That'll work too. And why are we getting the HR inside the list? Because yeah, you need two closed lists. So copy that closed list and put it above the HR. Got it. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. should this comma be here? Yeah, because what you're going to get, I mean, do, if you want, do you want them all, do you want them each on a line or do you want comma separated list of compositions? Co comma separated is fine. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you want. If you wanted them to be a break, you'd put a break in there. So you can I'll, I'll play with that later. Exactly. So let's look at it. So let's look back at 1761. Don't know why we picked that date, but. I think it was the first one. There it is. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. So now when you click on those, what happens? The date or the composition? Composition. Nothing. Because you need a composition template. Right. And you need a location template. The location and template and date template are going to be the same. Right. The composition template is going to be special because it's going to display all the fields. 
So let's, let's copy your date template. Let's clone your date template. Um, the clone is from the more info instead of, okay, you can do it that way. That works. Oh, well, what's the way you were going to tell me? Yeah. If you go back to, if you close date template and on the more info, there's a clone button. More info. It's the pull down on the date template. Clone. Yep. And call it composition template. Got it. it. It really, it's, yeah, it was hardly worth it, but that's all right. <laughs> and so instead of this current tag date, it's his current tag template or his current tag composition. And we don't need a second list filter. We don't need that second list because they're all composition, right? Yeah. And we don't need a link to the current tiddler because we know where we are. So we can get rid of this. Yeah. Yep. And we don't need that second closed list. Oh, sorry, the first closed list. You pay, paste it back. Yeah. Okay, but what do we want? Um, so hit return here. So what do you want to see? The name of the composition is in the name of the tiddler, right? Right. Let's say that you wanted to have the date. So you write the word date colon. And then you want the value of the field date. You want to transclude the value of the date from the current tiddler. Right. So you hear transclude, you type double curly braces. And the current tiddler is referenced with two exclamation points. And the name of the field is date, lowercase. And then you close it with two curly braces, and then you put it on the line by itself, so put a BR here. Yeah, and you can, let's do the same thing for location. That's good enough for now. So, and change it from date template to composition template. Yep. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay, so let's look at a composition. Let's see how it looks. Right. Now, if you want to edit the composition template, there's a link to it right there on the bottom. That's why we type that. Great. Okay. Oh, the uh, that little tag at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's so you know what template you're using. It's just like that's like diagnostic work, but it's good for you know while we're here. So if you wanted other stuff, like what else is in that composition? I don't know. Edit that composition. What other fields do we have? We have age and K and K six. You know. Yeah, you can do the same thing for those. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. You could write a sentence if you wanted to. The composition such and such was composed in Vienna. Right. Mozart was 31, or right? You could do yeah. whatever you'd like to do. And if you wanted whatever you want, if you had a link to something, you know, you can do whatever you want in there. And now you've got your basic framework. You're ready to go. Great. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, that's very cool. So, yeah, you were pretty close, you know? Yeah, that's, I think I'm in a good spot to uh, accomplish what I want to accomplish next. Yeah, good. Okay. That's looking nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the only thing you don't have is a list of all the compositions, which you could um, easily make now. Right. You know, with just a list filter equals tag composition, and they'll all show up. Well, I think they do. Well, yeah. you can tag composition. So in the tiddler called, go ahead to tiddler called composition. You've, it's right there. You, you got a link to it right there under on your tag composition. The first one listed. So in here, you might want to do a, yeah, create it and do a, you know, list filter equals tag composition. Okay. And then right. and if you wanted them to be links, you could make them into links and all that stuff. Right. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Cool. Great.
Anything else? You're good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I'll catch you another time. You're welcome to hang out. So, um, yeah. All right, I'm going to get going, actually. Okay, great. Oh, thank well, you. James, you still there? Of course. I know. <laughs>